I've been asked to make it, it's stored the same as that, but in stainless steel. The first thing I need to do is identify the threads. So I have a measure that there's basically 8 mil, And that looks like an 8 mil metric thread. I use 8 mil all the time. And sure enough it is standard 8 mil. This end here actually measures at 11 mil. I just done that, which is basically 716. Now that thread doesn't look metric, that looks like Whitworth. Now 716's Whitworth or 716's UNC is 14 TPI. So if I get me 14 TPI thread gauge, and it is 14 TPI, and it looks like a Whitworth thread form. I've got a 14 by 716 Whitworth die, and it screws into there quite happily so we'll make that thread work with that thread metric a proper bastard stud right we've got a nice piece of stainless ball we'll get out of that I'm going to do the big thread first you'll see why as I get the job done I like using a collar chuck for this sort of work because you've got more room and it's actually easier for me to get the camera in to get better better video shots which is basically what this is all about. Cherry Bangwood tools I reviewed the other week. As you can see, they're doing quite a nice job. Other than making long stringy chips, which is understandable on stainless steel. I'm not going to screw cut this, I'm just going to do a conventional thread with it. A tail stock guy. Little champer on there. We need a much larger champer on this end to try and help the die start. Right, the die I'm using is what they call a split die. It's got a split in it. And what you can do, you can adjust the fit of the, the die. You can see all that slack there. So if you nip up these two, you can actually make it a tight fit on the on the stud, which is what we want on a decent fit. That's quite nice there. how good this die will be. I may need to slacken it off and do it in two stages because stainless steel is not the best stuff in the world to put threads on by hand. It seems to be doing all right. It's certainly putting threads on it. I had some Triflex cutting compound I haven't got any left so I'll use this, this oil which is good stuff but the Triflex was actually actually better for threads. Just keep the little bit of pressure on the on the tail stock just to keep it the die holder going nice and straight.
and that's quite a nice thread. Very happy with that considering the material we're using. Another good thing is that with a collar chuck like that, you can grip on a thread and it won't damage the thread. Try different tools and get the chips to break a bit better. Size now, I'm putting that tool back in because I was actually putting it a better finish on. for the dive to start on. Obviously a much lighter thread than it's a brand new die so it's cutting a lot easier you could power feed this but for it if I just don't know one it's not worth it I could actually screw cut it and then run a die down it just to clean it up but this is doing the job no problem at all Right there, nice looking sharp threads. Right there you have it, I'm sure I'll be happy with that. That's actually been two bolts welded together. Uh, it's off a new Armstrong motorbike. So basically once again I'm making something that has a good chance of surviving. 
anyway. 8 by 105, 7 sixteenths width was a proper bastard. I went to a car boot sale uh, this afternoon, bought one or two interesting bits and pieces, I'll show you some of them. I bought these at the car boot sale this afternoon, obviously they're not engineering tools, they're joiners tools. They're real quality screwdrivers, the ones dressing up with a fail. These have seen a lot of work, a lot of use. Um, real quality items, I just couldn't leave them where they were. You could tell what was going to happen, we were going to get probably thrown away. Anyway, I got the whole set for a fiver. I picked this up for a pound. It's a fail that's been obviously heated up and forged to a, a nice flat edge. That would be real good quality steel. A really nice scraper. I'd probably take it to work and use it for scraping gaskets. Not what I was designed for, but um, at least it's going to get it's going to get saved. Somebody spent a lot of time on that grinding it. I've got a nice wooden handle that will go on there. That's the handle I use. It's actually a handle that was made and sent to me by one of yours. It's a really nice piece of wood. I don't like to see wood that's been machined and turned nicely. That's beautiful. I'm not quite sure what sort of wood it is, but it's, it is real, real nice stuff. And anyway, I'll drill the hole out a bit more and put that will go into there and that will make a nice scrape while it'll last me forever, I suppose. I had an afternoon off work last week and I took Debs over the coast uh, a place called Sunderland where all the, the, the tall ship regatta was on. Unfortunately, I was on the wrong side of the river to get most of the ships, but I did get some quite interesting shots. I'll put some of that in just as a, something a little bit different. I was away yesterday with Richard uh, to a carnival with a steam wagon. It was really warm up there, it was absolutely blistering heat. Um, I'll put a little bit of that in.
what consistency and steam. Next weekend, I'm going to a steam rally uh, with Richard at a place called Massum. I'm actually taking my wife Debsy down. Uh, we're going to be stopping in the tent for a couple of nights, so it should be a good laugh. Anyway, if you're happy with the end, you're happy to see us, please by all means come and say hello. Um, I'm not trying to be big headed, but often people look at us and they, they, you can tell they want to say hello what they're doing. Anyway, I do invite, it would be a pleasure to meet you. Anyway, thanks for watching.